Newfoundland and Labrador, the easternmost province of Canada, is a place of stunning natural beauty and rich cultural heritage. This unique place, known for its dramatic coastal landscapes, abundant wildlife, and welcoming communities, has increasingly attracted attention as a desirable living destination. The province offers a charming balance between nature and modernity, making it ideal for those seeking a quieter life, yet still connected to the conveniences of the modern world. For those interested in discovering more about what makes Newfoundland and Labrador such a special place to live, we invite you to watch the video 10 Reasons to Live in Newfoundland. This video provides a charming glimpse into the many reasons why people are choosing to call this beautiful province home. First Reason, Job Market The job market in Newfoundland and Labrador has been showing promising signs, attracting future residents and contributing to the growth of the province. According to the most recent statistics, the population of Newfoundland and Labrador is approximately 538,605, with a labor market participation rate of 57.7% as of October 2023. The unemployment rate, although relatively high at 8.9%, reflects an economy in transition with emerging opportunities in various sectors. One of the most attractive aspects of the local job market is the diversity of opportunities. The province has been focusing on sectors such as oil and gas, fishing, mining, and tourism, offering a variety of jobs for qualified professionals. Second reason, education. According to the 2023 education budget of the Government of Newfoundland and Labrador, significant investments have been made in various areas of education, from early childhood learning to higher education. These investments reflect the province's commitment to creating healthy and vibrant communities, with a strong focus on skill development and attracting new residents. In the early childhood education sector, Newfoundland and Labrador is a leader in access to affordable childcare, having implemented the $10 a day rate more than two years ahead of schedule. The 2023 budget includes investments of $64 million to increase the salaries of early childhood educators and about $6 million in retention and recruitment initiatives. Third reason, immigration programs. The immigration programs of Newfoundland and Labrador have played a crucial role in attracting new residents to the province, offering accessible and efficient pathways to permanent residency in Canada. The province facilitates two main economic immigration programs, the Newfoundland and Labrador Provincial Nominee Program NLPNP, and the Atlantic Immigration Program AIP. The AIP is an immigration program that assists employers in recruiting skilled international workers and international graduates to meet labor market needs. This permanent program retains the features that made the Atlantic Immigration Pilot Program in effect from 2017 to 2021 a success, including a focus on employer engagement, enhanced settlement support, and a collaborative approach across the four Atlantic provinces. Fourth reason, proximity to the sea. The proximity of Newfoundland and Labrador to the ocean has been a major draw for potential residents, offering a unique lifestyle and diverse opportunities. This Canadian province, located at the easternmost part of the country, is surrounded by the Atlantic Ocean, providing an intimate connection with the sea. This closeness to the ocean not only defines the landscape and climate of the region, but also strongly influences the local culture and economy. The ocean offers an abundance of recreational activities and leisure opportunities that are attractive to many. From boating and fishing to whale watching and other forms of maritime tourism, the proximity to the sea offers a quality of life that is hard to find elsewhere. Fifth Reason, Safety Safety in Newfoundland and Labrador is a crucial aspect that has been attracting future residents to the province. According to recent data on the city of St. John's, the largest city in the province, the safety index is 53.49, indicating a moderate level of safety. Although the crime index is considered moderate, with a value of 46.51, the city still offers a relatively safe environment for its inhabitants. The data show that concern about violent crimes, such as assaults and armed robberies, is moderate, with an index of 48.91. 
However, the concern about being a victim of a physical attack due to skin color, ethnic origin, gender, or religion is very low, with an index of just 18.18, making Newfoundland a welcoming place. Sixth reason, cost of living. The cost of living in Newfoundland and Labrador has proven attractive to future residents, especially when compared to other Canadian provinces. One of the most notable aspects is the cost of housing. Compared to other major Canadian cities, St. John's, the capital of the province, offers more affordable real estate prices. For example, the average price of a house in St. John's in 2023 is significantly lower than in cities like Toronto or Vancouver. In addition to housing costs, the province has taken steps to reduce other living expenses. For instance, the government of Newfoundland and Labrador implemented a temporary reduction in the price of gasoline and diesel, maintaining one of the lowest rates among the provinces. Seventh reason, nature. The nature in Newfoundland and Labrador is one of the main attractions for future residents, offering a variety of landscapes and outdoor experiences that are hard to find elsewhere. The province is known for its impressive natural attractions, which include everything from majestic mountains to rocky coasts and abundant wildlife. One of the natural highlights of the province is Gromorne National Park, recognized as a UNESCO World Heritage Site. This park offers a variety of hiking trails, including the climb to Gromorne Mountain, which provides spectacular views and a sense of achievement after a physical challenge. Additionally, the park is famous for its unique geological formations, such as the Tablelands, where the Earth's mantle is exposed, offering a rare and educational experience. Eighth reason, health. Healthcare in Newfoundland and Labrador has been a major focus for the provincial government, aiming to attract new residents and improve the quality of life for current ones. Recently, the government announced a plan to enhance the healthcare system, with an investment of $1.1 million to develop a health human resources plan. This plan is a response to the challenges of recruiting and retaining healthcare professionals, a common issue in many regions, but one that Newfoundland and Labrador is proactively addressing. The plan involves collaboration with key stakeholders to improve the delivery of healthcare services in the province. This is crucial as the population is aging and healthcare needs are changing. The government is committed to providing the right care, in the right place, at the right time, ensuring that healthcare professionals are supported in their important work. Ninth reason, entrepreneurship. Entrepreneurship support in Newfoundland and Labrador has been a key factor in attracting future residents, with the province offering significant programs and incentives for small and medium-sized enterprises, SMEs. An example is the Business Development Support Program, which assists SMEs in the region to increase their productivity and competitiveness. This program supports businesses that demonstrate a desire to develop and grow, improving business operations, investing in their people, and focusing on trade opportunities. The program offers non-repayable contributions of up to $100,000 per government fiscal year, covering up to 50% of eligible costs. Beneficiaries must be SMEs based and operating in Newfoundland and Labrador, with fewer than 100 employees and less than $10 million in sales. Tenth Reason, Real Estate Market the real estate market in Newfoundland has shown remarkable resilience and attractiveness in recent years, becoming an appealing destination for potential residents. As of January 2023, the average listing price for residential properties in Newfoundland was approximately $319,419, with the average sale price slightly lower at $299,902, as reported in a Reddit post by a local realtor. These prices, while reflecting a stable market, are relatively affordable compared to many other regions in Canada, offering a compelling reason for individuals and families to consider relocation. If you liked our content, subscribe to the channel and activate the notification bell to receive new content. Also, leave your like so YouTube can recommend our videos. See you next time, bye-bye.